What is going on guys, it's Modded Dwarf here. Welcome back to another PS4 video. So in this video, I wanted to kind of cover IDU mode, which is Interface Demonstration Unit mode on your PlayStation 4, because it's something that's accessible on a jailbroken PS4 and something I've not really covered entirely. Now I'm not staging this as a, as a tutorial because I really don't recommend people actually enable IDU mode generally on their system unless they know what they're doing because it can mess with your system. But I did want to cover it anyway, especially since there are a few new developments in the PS4 scene recently that um, take advantage of IDU mode in some way, or at least appear to. Um, so we've got, for example, we've got a video on um, YouTube from Jose Gonzalez that basically shows him being able to install package files using a USB drive without requiring the debug settings. He just plugs the USB drive in and it just starts installing the package files automatically whether they're fake package files retail package files doesn't seem to matter it just goes ahead and installs them and the reason that this is interesting is because if this is just in idu mode then it's not really interesting because this this can be replicated in idu mode on a ps4 quite easily you can easily install package files off a usb drive in idu mode However, he's said that it's not IDU mode, or at least in other videos that are doing things similar to this, he says he's not using IDU mode. So if that's true, then that's really interesting. If it's not true and it is using IDU mode, then it's not really that interesting. So obviously people are quite excited about this. And then on the other hand, you've also got uh, Lance McDonald, who has posted on Twitter uh, that they've basically been able to get every demo that's ever existed, every game demo that's ever existed, even ones that were never released, downloaded onto their PS4 and are able to run them. So, and again, a lot of people are wondering what is this menu that, uh, this cool menu that you can use to launch games from and stuff. So obviously there's a lot of confusion about that and it's all to do with IDU mode. That is why I'm covering IDU mode basically here in this video. So first of all, what is IDU mode and how does it work? Well, first of all, if you go into the settings and you have the debug settings enabled by obviously running Hen or Mira, then you can go into the debug settings, you can go into system and IDU mode is right here. So first of all, IDU mode interface demonstration unit is a mode specifically designed for the PS4 when the PS4 is being demoed at game stores. So when you walk into a game store and the PS4 was like the latest, greatest console, then they would have a PS4 set up for uh, customers to come in and try. So this mode is kind of like a locked down mode where it locks you into that menu that you saw from Lance McDonald, where you can select different demos to try out, to test out. And that is basically what IDU mode is. It's specifically for game stores and stalls and stuff so that customers can just try out different games on the PS4 and decide if they want to buy a PS4 or not. That's all it is really. So if we go ahead and enable IDU mode here, now again, I do not recommend anybody actually follows this. This is not a tutorial, even though I'm structuring it like a tutorial. I wouldn't recommend anyone doing this. IDU mode can delete your saves. It can even used in the wrong way. It can delete all the apps on your system and some other messed up stuff. It tries to force you to update the latest firmware. So obviously you shouldn't really enable this unless you're blocking all the system updates with your various uh, methods of, you know, using the disable updates payload and allies of DNS and stuff like that. So anyway, we're going to click OK here just because uh, we're going to do this for science. So we're going to go ahead and restart the PS4 right here. OK, so restarting, we're now in IDU mode. And as you can see, it takes us straight into the OMSK app which is the app that has that menu to select all of your game demos and stuff, but it's stuck updating from server. And that's just because we're on a lower firmware than the latest, we're on 7.02. So it can't reach out to PSN to download any game demos or anything or get any updates. So that is a problem. We're not gonna get anything on here right now. And also we're actually stuck in here. We're actually stuck in this app because obviously uh, game stores, you're not going to want customers coming into your game store and then messing with the PlayStation 4s that are on display. They don't want people deleting games and messing with the settings, so it locks you into this menu where all you can do is, you know, launch game demos, watch trailers, and that's about it. It's not going to let you do anything else on the PS4. But luckily, there is a hidden mode built in here for staff members that can break out of here and get access to the full system. So to do that, we pulled down uh, R1 and R2, L1 and L2, 
and up on the D-pad and options. And you hold all six of those buttons down for probably a solid 10 seconds or so. And then that should activate the staff mode, which will then allow you to exit out. So that's about 10 seconds now. There we go. Staff mode activated. And now I can press the middle button and exit. So there we go. We've now exited back onto the system and we now have full control of the PS4 again while staff mode is activated. The only thing is when staff mode is activated, it's not going to let you launch any apps. So it just throws you out saying it cannot launch in staff mode. There is a way of um, getting staff mode off while still having full access to the system with OMSK daemon or something. Okay, so the first question is how do we do the installing package files with a USB drive without needing the debug settings? Well, first of all, if we head back over to the computer here, so on the computer here, you need something called an IDU update disk. So an IDU update disk is basically an offline way of installing updates because obviously, you know, game stores are going to need to update the, the game demos. Otherwise, they're going to be out of date whenever there's new games and stuff that are coming out constantly. So if they don't have an active connection to the internet on those um, PS4s, then they could use an IDU update disk. And obviously, these are quite rare, so they're going for quite high amounts of money. It's definitely not worth buying one of these discs because the ISOs are archived. So you can just download the ISO for an IDU update disc. They're archived here on archive.org. This one is for um, the 2018 winter refresh. The one I downloaded here for this demonstration is the 2014 one just because it's a smaller file because archive.org is ridiculously slow. The servers are insanely slow. So it like took me like two days just to download this ISO. But uh, I, as you can see, I've got it here. PS4 IDU 2014 summer refresh. So if I go ahead and open this up in WinRAR, you can see all the different files. So if we go ahead and grab a USB drive here, make sure the USB drive is formatted in XFAT or FAT32 format. Then all we have to do is grab some files off here. We need offline update.cfg. I think we might need auto run.inf possibly. And we also need the package folder. So we're just going to create a folder called uh, pkg for packages. And then we just put our package files in here. So here's two fake package files I want to run. So I'll just copy them in here, just like this. And Sometimes they don't install if they're not named correctly. So we're just going to open the package files in package editor. And I'm going to rename them to the content ID. So the name of the package file is its content ID. So we're just going to do that on both of those. And then that should be it. So just with that, I should be able to just install these via um, the USB drive. Now, the next thing is I am also going to have to run the homebrew enabler to be able to install these fake package files. So I'm going to head into the internet browser and just run one of the exploit hosts so that I can enable the homebrew enabler. Obviously, if you were installing retail package files, you wouldn't need to do this. Uh, you can install retail package files just fine. Okay, so now that I've ran hen, I'm just going to plug in my USB drive. And when I plug in my USB drive, you should see the same kind of behavior that you saw from Jose Gonzalez's video right there. You, as you can see, it comes up installing the package file. There's the first one installed. It's runnable because I'm running hen and there's Minecraft also installing. So no debug settings required. You just plug the USB drive in with those files on there and it automatically starts installing them. In fact, if you already have other apps on your PS4, there is a setting you have to change. Otherwise, it deletes previous apps that were already installed on your PS4. So you got to watch out for that. But uh, as you can see, it installed them just fine here by plugging in the USB drive. So obviously this is a big deal if it can be done without IDU mode. It, but this method right now only works in IDU mode. So obviously if Jose Gonzalez's video is not using IDU mode, then it's a big deal. If it is using IDU mode, then obviously it isn't. But like I say, if you are in IDU mode, it's a very, very easy thing to do. So now that we've got those apps installed, they still won't show up inside OMSK though. If we run this again, those installed apps are still not accessible from this menu. It's still stuck updating from server. So in order to be able to actually uh, get games and demos and stuff to actually show up in OMSK, then we actually need to install the entire update itself. So if we switch back over to the computer here, and from here, if we just open up our ISO again, our IDU update disk. And this time we just basically copy everything from the ISO and we just dump the whole contents of the ISO into the root of our USB drive. 
then this should install all the other necessary things to get the stuff to show up in IDU mode because it has to be installed in a specific way. There's also game trailers and screenshots and other image assets that uh, are required for the game to show up in IDU mode in OMSK. So we need to have everything installed this time. All right, so now that I've got all the files copied over to the USB drive here, we can go ahead and eject it and plug it back into the PS4. And of course, when I do that, it's going to do the same thing it did last time, except now it's going to copy a lot more files. So again, this is going to take some time as well. So it takes a few seconds after you first plug in the drive. But as you can see, there we go. Unit is updating. So unit is updating. Please wait. So that's just copying most of the asset files right there to the hard drive. And then, of course, it has to install all of the various different package files for all the demos. And then once that's all done, we should have access to all of those demos inside the OMSK app. Okay, so as you can see, we've got all the games here installed. And just to show you what it looks like normally, obviously, as you're very familiar with on just a normal PS4, just on the home screen, when you see a game, you just got the image, you've got information. You don't really have much in terms of like a description of the game or screenshots or anything that you can look at. But if we go into OMSK, as you can see, there we go. We've got the menu. We've got all the demos showing up right here. So contrast this compared to what we saw before. If we go on here, you can see we get Publisher, Warner Brothers Interactive, Players 1 to 2. It's got the actual, you know, little description of the game there. You've got screenshots that you can cycle through. And of course, you've got the demo that you can play as well. Uh, if we look at Knack as well, this one actually has a trailer. So the trailer just plays there in the bottom right hand corner. You can press X to watch the video here to get the trailer in full screen right here which is pretty nice. Just press circle, it continues playing. And obviously here you've got screenshots as well, four screenshots, and then you also have the demo that you can select. All right, and there we go, We're, we've restarted here. Uh, the cannot download is for obviously fake package files that are on the USB drive um, because we're not running hen anymore. But as you can see, everything is loaded. We're not in uh, staff mode anymore, so we can run the demo. So if I go into NACT here, select demo, it should run this time. Yep, there you go. Demo is now running. So if I just press uh, the PS button, it quits us out of the demo. Right there, we can close application. And we're back into OMSK. And the cool thing about this as well is that if you just leave it here on the menu and you don't actually select any games, it will just start playing a bunch of trailers, uh, which is kind of cool. You know, if you're in a game store or whatever and nobody was currently using the system, then it would just be displaying trailers of different ps4 games on the on the screen uh, which is what it does here if you if you leave it idling for too long so yeah i mean that is basically it now ex exiting out of um idu mode is straightforward as long as you have a jailbreak again just run hen or mira or whatever and then you can just go into the debug settings and then go into system idu mode turn it off restart the ps4 and now you're no longer in idu mode uh, also this whole screen with all the different demos and stuff is not accessible when you're not in IDU mode. Even if you still have the OMSK app installed, uh, none of these demos will actually show up when we restart the PS4 out of IDU mode, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But like I say, this is just kind of a, an interesting thing. It would be cool if you could launch your normal games from it. I'm sure you can. It's just, you know, there's lots of JSON files and all kind of weirdness, but, um, you know, people have managed to do some weird stuff with OMSK. Hopefully we'll see more in the future. Maybe, maybe being able to just launch our normal games from this menu, maybe being able to access this menu properly when we're not in IDU mode and installing game package files and stuff from the USB drive as if we were in IDU mode when we're not. That would be great as well. And that's kind of what we might be seeing with some of these um, new developments with this stuff. So yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you didn't know much about IDU mode, hopefully you have a better understanding of it now. And uh, yeah, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.